friends, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to share two creative ways to eat pancakes today. Pancakes are an awesome food. They're one of my favorite foods personally and they're really great on their own, but if you wanna make things a little bit more creative and spice things up, I'm gonna show you two ways to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to make rainbow pancake tacos and also a pancake casserole or just like a big pancake bake. And these recipes are awesome for special events, like maybe you have a holiday brunch or you have people visiting, friends over, things like that. So they're just a really fun way to kind of spice up your pancake game. And this video is in partnership with Simple Mills. I'm super excited to be partnering up with them because I love all their mixes. I'm vegan and also gluten-free as you may already know. And they have so many products that really fit my lifestyle and are also really delicious. I'm gonna be using their pancake mix in today's video. You're welcome to make your own, but I find that using this mix is really helpful because it's paleo friendly, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's just way easier than having to blend your own flours. As you may know, if you're gluten-free, it is kind of a pain sometimes to blend a bunch of different flours to achieve the best results. So I'm gonna be showing you how to turn this pancake mix into rainbow pancake tacos and a pancake casserole. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start off with our rainbow pancake tacos. So grab your pancake and waffle mix, and then we're gonna follow the instructions on the back of the box to make four pancakes, but we're gonna double it so that we end up with eight pancakes. So in a large bowl, add your two flax eggs, and then we're going to add four teaspoons of vegan yogurt, which I'm using in place of oil. And then finally, we're going to add two tablespoons of either vegan milk or just water. Next, we're just gonna give everything a good stir with a fork until it's smooth and combined. Our last ingredient is going to be one cup of our pancake and waffle mix. And then we're gonna give it all a good stir until it's smooth once again. When your batter is ready, we're gonna heat up a pan on medium heat over the stove. And I like to measure out one fourth cup of batter to make one pancake. And you should end up with about five or six pancakes. These will be a little bit larger, but we need a little space to fill them up. I like to also use the back of a spoon to help spread the batter out to make a really nice circle shape. And once you see some bubbles form at the top of your pancake, it's time to give it a flip. When your pancakes are all ready to top, we're gonna grab rainbow fruits of your choice and then just chop them up into little pieces so that you can decorate your tacos. We're gonna take one pancake as a base, spread some vanilla yogurt on top, and this will just kind of act like a little bit of a glue as well for all of your toppings. And then once you have that ready, just go ahead and add your toppings of choice. I added some fruit and also some edible flowers on top. You can serve them like this or you can also kind of fold them into taco shapes and layer them on a little plate. You can also put them into a little taco holder if you have one. Next, we're gonna make our pancake casserole. So start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees, and then we're gonna prepare our batter once again. This time, we're gonna make the full box. So we're starting off with five flax eggs, which is a lot of flax, and we're actually gonna be using 15 tablespoons of water. And then we're gonna give this a nice whisk and let it sit to thicken up a little bit. Once it's nice and thick and a little bit more egg-like, we're gonna add our one third cup of milk or water. I used vegan milk here. And then finally, three tablespoons of vegan yogurt or regular oil. Give this all a nice stir until there are no chunks left and everything is smoothly combined. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our full bag of pancake mix. Once everything's in the bowl, go ahead and give it a nice stir and just make sure there are no chunks or lumps left in the batter. Next, we're gonna transfer this mixture into a greased or lined baking tray. I'm just using this big ceramic baking dish here and just pour the entire batter right into the baking dish. Finally, we're gonna to top it with our favorite toppings. I like to use blueberries, but you can add any kind of berries or nuts that you like. You can also add chocolate chips, peanut butter, really anything you like to eat your pancakes with. Once that's ready, we're gonna pop it in the oven and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it's cooked through. This will kind of depend on the size of the tray that you used, but when it comes out, it should be nice and golden and really, really fluffy. You can also top it with syrup once it's done and then just cut into it and then it's ready to serve. This pancake bake is so fluffy and delicious and it's perfect for families or when you have people over for breakfast because it will definitely feed a lot of mouths. All 
Alright, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these pancake recipes and I hope that you try them out. If you do, feel free to share them with me on social media by tagging me or hashtagging veggiekins and also send them to me because I love seeing your recreation. It makes me so happy um, and these are honestly really, really delicious. I'm really glad that I now have a pancake casserole for myself because I live alone. You can store it in the freezer as well and I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Big thank you again to Simple Mills for sponsoring this video. I'm about to go eat some of their crunchy cookies, but I will leave all of the recipe information and other information in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.